357 Magnum. Right, guys well i'm back today taking a look at the diamondback sdr a 357 magnum revolver and when i think about diamondback i generally don't think about revolvers especially 357s i generally equate them to modern sporting firearms but this is a really nice change of pace it packs a ton of cool specs and features into a nice small defensive package and on top of that the msrp on this guy is about 20 to 30 percent off its closest rival so it's a pretty cool high value option and that's what this channel is about exploring high value and budget options that actually work now i definitely wouldn't call this revolver budget but i would put it in the high value category before we get too far into the review the pros and cons and the specs and features i want to give a huge shout out to target sports usa and their own in-house lineup of new republic for sponsoring and helping out the video these guys are a huge supporter i greatly appreciate them and i'm almost exclusively getting all of my 38 and 357 from these guys Again, just a huge shout out to Target Sports USA. Great group of people. One thing I want to mention right out of the gate, and it's the elephant in the room, is this looks a lot like the Kimber S6. Now, that is going to be the K6S. Sorry, this looks like a lot like the Kimber K6. Now, I have no experience with that revolver, and this is not a direct comparison, but I'm going to get that out of the way right off the bat. You've got similar styling features, although there is a lot of differences. I wouldn't say it's a direct copy. You also have some improvements, I would say, over the Kimber K6, but you have that push button swing latch design. This is a six shot 357 revolver revolver with a double action and single action pull rubberized grips and high vis sights and that's pretty much the review in a nutshell but let's talk about it from the grip to the tip um, starting with these rubberized grips and they really feel like a hogue wraparound grip and they are labeled diamondback but i would definitely compare them to like a hogue grip and i love them I absolutely love them. Now, it does have an exposed steel back strap. Now, you will feel that when shooting a 357 Magnum revolver. There is no cushion back here, but that is pretty much all defensive carry 357 Magnum revolvers. To me, this is a defensive carry revolver, a personal defense revolver. It's not a uh, take to the range and plank for 500 rounds revolver, and it's definitely not like a target shooter in the sense of a competitive 9-inch 357 um, with some really big grips. We are talking about a truncated two-finger grip design here where your pinky kind of hangs off the bottom. With that being said, they are comfortable for what they are. It's a good grip, it feels well, it's ergonomic, and it's done great on a defensive carry revolver. But remember, we are discussing a defensive carry revolver. Now, moving up to the hammer itself, we do have some fine lines for texturing on the back to cock that hammer into single action mode. And then we also have a pretty nice user interface with the push button swing out latch. Now, that works out really good you don't have to slide it forward and a lot of guys love the push button latch you can actually break your grip and pop that out one-handed if you wanted to right there by pushing on the cylinder and pushing on the button and that pops the cylinder right out if you needed to now i like it it feels well there's really good texturing on the button itself it's large enough to be activated with gloved fingers if your hands get wet there's no issues with that push button also when you push it it just pops out it, it works really well so it's definitely not a straight push um, when you're looking at this um, Technically, it's actually an angled push. You can see it pivot. So the closer you get to the end of the push button, the easier it is. But you can actually push up right here, and it still works out just fine. No issues whatsoever. So it's not technically a true like flat push button. It's more of an angled push, but it works out incredibly well. And honestly, when you are talking about it from a practical sense, your thumb's going to come up, hit the back of that, and then it's going to pop out really nicely. So 
Great job, Diamond Mac, on that push button. Now let's take a look at the trigger. We'll make sure it's clear for like the thousandth time. Uh, the trigger itself is fairly smooth, um, especially when you consider this is going to be like a high value option. When you pick it up, it feels like a more premium trigger. A lot of guys at the shop when I transferred this tried it out really liked it, um, felt like it was a great double action trigger. Since then, it's actually smoothed up. We've been running it a lot, and it's pretty nice. The single action on this, though, is where it shines. I mean, crisp break. No take up whatsoever. Great trigger. Um, the cylinder is also a quick change cylinder, which I thought was neat. You depress this button and push it out. Now, because of YouTube's policies, I can't show you that on camera. Well, I think I can, but they're always changing their policies. They've been striking the channel. I'm going to play it safe. I have no idea what this is technically for, other than it's going to be really easy to clean this cylinder. And I believe this is specifically for this model for cleaning purposes. Maybe in the future they will offer like a 9mm cylinder. I don't know, but you can see how quick it is, even though you can't see me doing it because of YouTube's policies. If you want them to change those policies, it might be nice to send them an email. Again, they've been going after the channel lately. Moving on to the barrel itself, you've got a really nice kind of cut down, slim down version. Now, this looks good, but it's also nice kind of to have a slim down version. So when you are sliding it into the holster, it's tapered and it flows nicely. When you run your hand over this revolver, you do not feel like sharp edges or points, even though it's very angular in nature. So they've done a great job of chamfering and rounding the edges, especially at the muzzle. I feel no high points. Even on the sights themselves, I don't feel snag points too holster and unholster which is great now when we are looking at the technical specs it is a six shot 357 magnum but it also shoots 38 special plus p um, now this is pretty neat because it's got a shorter barrel for defensive purposes but two inches is enough i imagine <laughs> with 357 magnum for up close shooting i feel like it will do the trick now functional down at the range how did it work no light primer strikes, no issues with the cylinder rotating. Lockup is freaking awesome. It's good. You got just a tinge amount of play, but I mean, it's good lockup. Solid action, 100% reliable, no issues whatsoever. 38 Special is a breeze to shoot. You can just run through cylinders with no issues whatsoever. It's an all steel frame gun, so you've got some weight on it right here, and the weight is 21 ounces, so pretty hefty little revolver. For me, you're not going to pocket carry this. You may carry it in their, uh, in your waistband would be good, like a truck gun, a car gun, a home defense revolver. This is going to fit those bills pretty nicely. Now, the sights in the top, this is where I want to discuss accuracy of the revolver, and a lot of that accuracy comes from the sight. They are definitely high-vis sights, very easy to pick up, very easy to use, and insanely practical. Great, great option for defensive carry. Again, these are not target sights. Um, but they do a great job at close-up shooting. Shot this for groups at about seven yards. No issues. Tight groups. Um, this is going to be as accurate as any other two-inch barrel 357 revolver. Again, I wasn't like bench resting this to take shots at different groups. But this is a great revolver. The finish on this comes in two different finishes. You've got this finish right here. And you've got the matte stainless. After carrying this and handling this... It looks cool when it's polished up nice, but it will show fingerprints. Like, that's the biggest con, I think, to this polish. Now, some people love the look of that polish. They're not going to be carrying it a ton. They'll take it to the range. They may have it as a defensive piece, but I would highly recommend the satin finish if you're going to be carrying it every day. It just doesn't show up as much. The polish looks cool. Don't get me wrong. I think it's awesome. I think it'll be cool to take Instagram photos of, but practically, I like the satin finish a lot better. Is that a deal breaker? Absolutely not. If I was dead set on getting one of these and they only had the polished version, I'd grab it. Um, but I am getting a little nitpicky. It will show fingerprints, but that's any polished gun. I mean, that's not Diamondback's fault. But I hope you guys liked the video. I hope it gives you an overview of a really awesome revolver new to the market from Diamondback. I love to see companies expanding and I love them to see, I love to see them producing high value items. I like this revolver. I think you may too. I think it's worth a look. Um, 
Hope you guys liked the video. Hope it gives you the overview of this, the pros and cons to help you better make your decision uh, if you were looking at the Diamondback SDR. Again, a huge shout out to Diamondback for sending this out to the channel. I don't have to send it back. It's going to stay with the channel for long-term testing and evaluation so I can update you guys in the future on its performance. If you were interested in the knife in the background, this is the CJRB Pyrite. I've been doing a ton of deal videos on my 704 Gear YouTube channel. And if you're unfamiliar, I've got a second channel. Definitely sub this one. One, but also check out that one. We reviewed a lot of high value in EDC knives and lights, and with everything going on on the main channel with YouTube, it's nice to have a second place to find me. Also, I'm on Instagram. Rumble and X are probably the most important places to follow me right now. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.